Okay, if you're a lay person, just wanting to help your parish celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, the first thing I want to point out to you is what we have on the top of our website here. The Feast of Mercy is not a party for devotees, but rather a very special refuge for sinners. Why do I say that? I get so many phone calls, people saying, well, my parish doesn't want to do it. And I said, well, what are you talking about, do it? And he said, well, you know, uh, say in the chaplet, in the afternoon at 3 o'clock on Mercy Sunday. And I says, well, that's not celebrating Divine Mercy Sunday. Jesus said that the Feast of Mercy was a refuge and shelter for all souls, but especially for poor sinners. And Jesus never asked us to say the chaplet on Mercy Sunday or to get together at 3 o'clock. Jesus wants us to focus on the Masses on that day, about receiving Holy Communion in a state of grace. That should be the focus, and, our, and the, most of our energy should be put on preparing for Divine Mercy Sunday, making sure that we invite all the Easter only Catholics to come back, and all the fallen away Catholics to come back. Like Jesus told us what to do on that day. He told Festina, on the day of my feast, the feast of my mercy, you will go throughout the whole world and bring fainting souls to me. I shall heal and strengthen them. So that's what we should be doing. Now let's look at what we get on the website. The first, very first item up here is our new leaflet for door-to-door -door evangelization. Now this is a brand new leaflet that we just put together. Uh, my own local parish has printed 10,000 of these things to be passed out on Easter Sunday uh, and to encourage people to go out and evangelize. A real attractive looking leaflet. It's a PDF form. You can print it right out, put your parish information right on here. And this is a great tool to, to, to boost your parish and get people to come back to the practice of their faith. Next thing down, down the line here is the, our Apostles of Divine Mercy newsletter. Now this will give you a little pep talk and give you some ideas on how you can celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday in your parish. And if you're not celebrating it at all the Masses, how you can get around to doing this. The next item down here is how to approach your pastor. Now, so many times I, I'm asked, how do you do this? And so I just put down some ideas here. And I said, the, the first thing is say to one, Father, I don't want you to do anything extra for Divine Mercy Sunday. Because you don't want your priest to be doing any extra work on that day. Like I tell everybody, the work is in the preparation. Jesus does the work himself on the feast. All right, so let me go back here. And of course, we already talked about the open letter to the bishops and priests and the documents for bishops and priests. You can look over these things and pray about giving them to your, to your pastor. The other item here, the new leaflet for celebrating Mercy Sunday, this is really uh, the easiest thing to, to follow uh, for priests on how to celebrate Mercy Sunday. It doesn't mention anything about devotions at all. It just goes through the me mechanics of uh, celebrating Divine Mercy Sunday, and, it, and it's based on the duties of priests that are found in the plenary indulgence. Now we can go back here on the home page, and there's a few other things we can look at here. Here's a, uh, a good article that's called The Message for Catholics, and you could be using this to put in your uh, local newspapers between Easter Sunday and Divine Mercy Sunday to get fallen away Catholics to get back to the practice of their faith. Uh, some other articles here that are good. The Octave of Easter, you can read that. Um, how to Celebrate Mercy Sunday, give you some more ideas on how to celebrate it. If you need to, to bless the image, and we have the image blessing here on Mercy Sunday in English and Spanish. Of course, we have our bulletin insert with the confession guide that goes on the back. should be using this on Easter Sunday. Another really good article here, uh, Understanding Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, put together by the Marians, really gets really into uh, the nuts and bolts of uh, Mercy Sunday. And then we have here the Theology of the Feast. Uh, for those of you that would like to have it, we have the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy, the uh, Divine Mercy Novena that starts on Good Friday. We have all the, the different days here of the Novena. It includes the Chaplet, complete, very easy to follow. Uh, we have the uh, homily status for Divine Mercy Sunday, Easter homily for Easter only Catholics, sample news stories, recent articles for the media, 
These are pretty good if you want to put some articles in the newspaper. Even in Catholic newspapers, some good articles that we've written here. Um, one of these is really good. It's Pope Benedict and the Divine Mercy image. It talks about what Pope Benedict said about installing images like the Divine Mercy in the parishes and how much they are needed. Uh, if you'd like to join us, you can just click on here. It says join the Apostles of Divine Mercy. We'll put you on our email list. And if you're looking for an image for your parish, we have uh, images available. We also have a uh, website that's called DivineMercyPictures.com. And we provide uh, Divine Mercy images uh, for churches all over the world. We have all the most popular uh, Divine Mercy images, uh, all really looking great. We do our own printing here in our, in our own facility. We offer them printed on paper or canvas. You can buy them in rolls. Or you can buy them uh, already uh, uh, framed from us. Beautiful images. All right, let's go back here. See what other resources we have here. All right. We also have uh, great links here to uh, other uh, Divine Mercy uh, websites. We have our contact information. And if you want to email me, just click on this link right here. And it's got my email address. It'll go right to it. Just you know, have any questions at all, you can email me. Or if you want to give us a call, just call 1-888-732-0722. We're here for you. We want to help you celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday in your parish and to use it as an evangelization tool. Thanks.